China was revealed to have carried out a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile test last August. This finding surprised U.S. intelligence. This fact was reported by a news website, citing five unnamed sources. In a report published last Saturday, it said the Chinese military launched a missile in low-orbit space. The missile flew about 20 miles or about 32 kilometers. The tests show that China has made astounding progress in terms of hypersonic weapons and is far more advanced than U.S. officials realize, the report said. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said he would not comment on the specifics of the report. But he said, We have made clear our concerns about the military capabilities China continues to pursue, capabilities that only increase instability in the region and beyond. That's one of the reasons why we consider China our number one challenge. So far, China's Ministry of Defense has not responded to the report. Ballistic missiles fly into space in an arc shape to hit their targets. While hypersonic missiles are difficult to defend against because they fly at lower altitudes in the atmosphere, they can hit targets at more than five times the speed of sound, or about 6,200 km per hour, 3,850 miles per hour. Hypersonic missiles are also more difficult to track. It is known that the United States and Russia are also developing hypersonic missiles. Even last month, North Korea admitted to having tested a newly developed hypersonic missile. Earlier, at the 2019 parade, China also showcased its advanced arsenal, including a hypersonic missile known as the DF-17. The Dongfeng-17 is a Chinese solid-fueled road mobile medium-range ballistic missile that mounts the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle. The DF-17's hypersonic armament gives China significant leverage over current conventional ABMs due to the glide vehicle's unpredictable ballistic trajectory. The DF-17 along with the DFZF, was officially unveiled at the National Day Military Parade on 1 October 2019, making this China's first operational hypersonic weapon systems and one of the world's first to be put in full initial operation. The DF-17 uses the rocket booster from the already operational DF-16B short-range ballistic missile. As such, the design of the missile itself did not require any major changes. The biggest change however, is the obvious usage of a hypersonic glide vehicle rather than a conventional re-entry warhead found in normal ballistic missiles and MIRVs. The DFZFHGV operates in a different manner from normal ballistic missiles or even intercontinental ballistic missiles in the first place. Rather than firing and landing in a normal arc, the DF-17's HGV suppresses its trajectory and accelerates to reach Mach 5. Due to its suppressed, lower altitude trajectory, intercepting the glide vehicle with ABM shielding becomes far harder and more complex than that of a conventional re-entry vehicle. This is further complicated, as the gliding makes the DFZF far more maneuverable, extending both its range and avoiding potential ABM shielding. As such, the DF-17 could hit regional targets despite its SRBM nature. The DF-17 can also be used to mount a more conventional re-entry vehicle than the DFZF.